Well, hey everybody, it's your old buddy Ripper. Hey, down in South Mississippi, Rip One Outdoors. Well, we got a little bit of downtime today, and we got a little project we're gonna try to work in. The reason we got some downtime today because we don't have no power in the house, and can't work, don't have Wi-Fi. I mean, uh, so I guess we just have to wait, maybe wait and work tomorrow. The reason we don't have any power is because Hurricane Francine decided it wanted to come in and make a, an unwelcomed appearance and uh, knocked all the power out. I mean, we didn't get any damage. I mean, I could show you some, you know, pan around here and look around, but we don't have no damage. But yet uh, the power went out. I don't know where it's, something happened one of the substations, but they said, well, 4,000 some odd people that was out of power. I guess we just have to be patient, right? So. I figured we'd get out here today while we didn't have no power. I didn't want to do this inside because you can't see in there. So I get, get out here behind the tractor shed here and all. Uh, so what we're going to do today is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. And I've had so much going on with other bikes and stuff like that that I just put it off. But we're going we're gonna to yank the crank off of this Magic Cycle Jaggerundi and we're going to change it out for a 52 tooth crank. Uh, this one is 47 from what I could see there. It may be 48, but from what I counted, it was 47. We'll find some other use for this in here. And, uh, but yeah, we're going to change it out. So let me get y'all around here and I'll show y'all the parts we got. The <laughs> tree fell. Tree falls in the forest. Does anybody know that it actually fell? Yeah, I heard it. So y'all hang with us here. Let's roll that intro. So to accomplish this parts change, we need basically three tools. And I got them right here. You got an eight millimeter T-handle wrench. I don't recommend using uh, one of the smaller wrenches. No, you gotta have something you can get a good purchase on and you can get, you, cause you got some pretty good uh, bolts there you gotta bust, okay? Eight millimeter, that is a Pittsburgh. I bought a whole set of them and that's the ball end. That's the ball end wrenches. Good set of tools. Harbor Freight. This tool here is the CCP-22 uh, crank puller. I bought this from Park Tool, but I've actually found one on the internet uh, that I like better now. I'm gonna put the link to it. This one's got the little arm here, and I find that that's not enough, uh, that you don't get enough torque to try, to try to bust these things loose. So I'm gonna put one that you can use a big uh, a big crescent wrench or adjustable wrench to with or, or socket if you have to but then of course a 15 millimeter wrench open end wrench we're going to use that to take the pedals off with okay and of course there's the part right there that's a pro wheel which is actually a pro wheel that's on here and I'll put a link to this. That's 130 millimeter BCD 52 tooth. And uh, I believe it's uh, 170 millimeter crank is the crank length here. I'll double check that. So that's the part right there, about $45. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, got us a little bit different camera angle there now. Uh, if you wonder why I got this up on the table, it's just, it just makes it a little bit easier to work on. So we take these pedals off. We'll need to take both sides off and we'll be putting these pedals back on. We won't be changing them out. Yeah, Miss Francine, uh, she provided probably more water than what a lot of us have seen around here in years and years. Lot, a lot of rain. 
Left hand thread's on the left pedal, right hand thread's on the right pedal. I guess I should have wore me some gloves. I'm gonna get my fingers dirty. Let me go get me some gloves. All right, yeah, I got me some gloves on here now. Yeah, I just, I decided to set it up on the table here and get a better angle at it because if you're working on the floor, uh, you have you can't get a good camera angle and the light's not good in there in the shed so I couldn't use my handy dandy bike uh, stand so the first but we'd be good working on this table here it's pretty good and solid here got good solid ground beneath it so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bust this this loose right here socket head cap screw that holds this uh, crank on. Take that one out and then we'll go around and take the other one loose. We'll set these aside to use with the next bike that we put these on, whatever that would be. Cause uh, the new, the new uh, chain ring, it comes with brand new parts. Yeah, we went to bed last night at about 9.30 I guess. And I told Susan, I said, well, it don't look like the storm's getting any worse. I said, in fact, it looks like it's not, it, it's not going to affect us hardly at all. Yeah, this little tool, you just get this, these threads started on this right here. You don't have to tighten that up or anything as far as I know. And then we're just going to wind this up here and then start trying to break. i tell you what, let's do, let's break that chain off of there, okay? We're just gonna do it like that, lay it down on the table. Sometimes this thing gets pretty solid here, pretty hard to break loose. And that's why I tell you, I don't like this bar here because it's not long enough. You need something, you can get a pretty good uh, torque on it. And But I'm gonna wrestle with it till I get broke loose. There it goes. It was on there pretty good. Yeah, me and Susan, we wandered off to bed last night, about 9.30, and I'm gonna tell y'all it was raining. Like I told y'all, I ain't seen a rain like that in a long time. My neighbor down the road had called my phone and left a message. I left my phone up in the front of the house and she left a message, said, Richard, we see if you had a shop back. So they said they had water coming in their house. Uh, I had, like I say, unprecedented rain and, they, and it was just a little corner of the house there was kind of low and they had some water seeping in. So I went down the road there. It was about 11.30, 12.30. Went down the road and uh, took them my shop back. All right, we're just gonna put that on there like that. Dig out our brand new nuts out of the bag here. So I took her to shop back down there and I got, got them squared away and helped them a little bit. Then I come back and I laid down in the bed. Five minutes later, the power went out. But it wasn't no lightning. It wasn't no limbs falling. It wasn't nothing. It just, the power just decided it was just gonna go out. I don't know, they may have turned it off just for, just in case something happened. I don't know. I think I got this, I got this one the same, same direction as the other one over there, but that's okay. We'll just change the direction of it when we put it on. A little bit of sunshine coming out. My power don't come on. I can't go back to work. Of course, I really don't have a whole lot to do today, but I do have a few jobs working on. All right, that ought to be good. Yeah, I'm gonna put links in the description down there for the, for the part that I use. I think I, I, I probably got this part just, I had bought it before and I just keep using the same one over and over. Cause it's, uh, it's, it's relatively inexpensive and it, and it does a proper job. It does exactly what you need. 
All right, we got that one broke loose pretty easy. So where was I? Yeah, the power went out. So that was at 12.30 last night. What's the time? 11.30 here. So that's 11 hours that the power's been out and we hadn't even had a, uh, we hadn't even had a, a bolt of lightning in here or anything. No, no limb down, no trees or nothing. Okay, here's our new crank here. Yeah, and that's a, that's a 170 millimeter crank and that's measures from the center of here to the center of the boat here. So I don't know what's up with the power. I just kept, you know, hanging around here hoping, I, I, hoping the power would come back on and I could get on and at least get a half a day of work done. So far it hasn't happened. Put the pedal on. So we get the pedal put on. I know there's probably a Hundreds of videos out there of people doing this, but I hadn't done a whole lot of videos here lately, so I decided I'd include this one. All right, pedal's on. We'll go put this one on. Let's put the chain on before we put the pedal. There we go. Okay, so why am I changing the crank ring? Okay, because I want to eliminate 100% of the ghost pedaling that's involved with these e-bikes. Every e-bike you get nowadays has a certain amount of ghost pedaling. I've only bought one, that, or I've only had one that was provided to me from a company, and that was Bandit. And to this day, that bike has never ghost pedaled. It had the right size uh, crank, had the right size freewheel back here. Everything was up to snuff. It's exactly what was needed to make this thing get on down the road without any ghost pedaling. And I ch here a while back, I changed the freewheel. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video so you'll have a, uh, the, a reference for changing the freewheel. And it's a really easy job, y'all. So. I changed the freewheel out and it, it probably took out most of the ghost pedaling, but it was a little bit about that much left, okay? And I said, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get me a, the pro wheel and let's put this on here and get this. Now, I don't have to take this off and do a, uh, a show and tell for you because I can tell you with a 52 two chain ring and an 1128, freewheel back here that's going to eliminate the the ghost pedaling in fact i could probably even shift my shimano shifter up just a little bit maybe back up to five or six and and uh, have a good ride down the road so all right we got this 47 too i don't know what we'll do with this but we, we ain't gonna throw it away that's for sure i don't think these are the most high dollar parts it is I know they're not but hey it does exactly what I need so so there you have it everybody we've changed a 47 tooth crank ring to a 52 tooth crank ring on this Magicycle Jagger Rundy and working in conjunction with the 1128 freewheel that I've already changed out on this bike this bike will have no ghost pedaling we're gonna really we're gonna really enjoy that why am I having to spend this kind of money so these bikes won't uh, have ghost pedaling I'll leave that for you to figure out I have no idea why don't the why don't the companies change your process or something so I showed y'all the tools we used I give you the I'll give you the part number everything's gonna be in the description okay told y'all a little bit about the storm the storm's going on off in the uh, Tennessee or up in uh, up around uh, North Mississippi or somewhere out right there it, it's not harming anybody but I'm glad that it wasn't like a Katrina I can tell you that because we rode out Katrina right here uh, category four winds we rode right there in that little house 
I tell you right now, we don't want to do that again. That was that was longest longest day we've ever had right there. Hurricane Katrina, 2005. So hope it'll be a help to some of y'all that's wanting to uh, maybe upgrade your motorcycle jack running. I also like want to say this this these parts will fit practically any bike. So if you've got a uh, a free air bike, if you've got what whatever uh, a venting bike it don't matter these parts will fit on them so take take what i've given you right here and i hope it helps you in a way that uh get you on down the road there so rip one outdoors good to see y'all again hey like and subscribe if you care to and we'll catch y'all out there on the road again